Hello everyone and welcome back to a new PHP programming tutorial. So in the previous video we create a logging, um, right? We created a logging uh, method and in today's video we are going to uh, work on routing. Now um, what is this about? Well basically what are we gonna do is something very simple so if we have uh, something like this localhost slash cms okay so far this is fine no problem but i want if i what i want to do is if i write for example slash trip slash uh, india slash january 2022 for example um my code should be able um to take this part and split it to pieces which I will use later on to find the accurate pages. Does that make sense? So let's work on this. So first thing first, I will create something for routing. Um, you could create it in lib right away, but I would prefer to create a new folder, root, there you go and i will add something here new file root.php yes so root.php this is the the file i will write test here for now and i need to make the code um or the links urls re uh, reroute to this path how do we do this very straightforward um first uh, we will use the .htaccess trick we created earlier. So go here. I will put it into this. Uh, sorry, Re Explorer. Right click. Where is paste? This is .htaccess. Nice. And um, I need to move it to CMS. Right. Yes. There you go. So you have this .htaccess. Now. I need to do some modifications. So first of all, I need to redirect to the CMS folder and then go to root. Root, there you go. And I need to call the page root.php. There you go. Very straightforward so far. Now, if I go to the web page and refresh, we get the word test. What is happening is this page is getting called. Now, if we go to the .htaccess, we have this URL parameter, which includes the link. Uh, by link, I mean this part, right? So um, we will pass this one. We'll get this using, uh, we will read this using the get uh, array, uh, and we will continue from there. So let's go PHP, and, um, I will say URL equals empty string. So if a set, oops, a set uh, get of URL. In that case, what do we get? What do we do? We say URL equals um, this one. And for debugging purposes, what are we gonna say? Finally, we just say echo. URL. This is only for debugging, and we'll see why. Okay, so we got the trip in the uh, January. That's fine. Next, we want to do the following. We want to split this string uh, using this slash, if it makes sense to you. Okay, so um, there is a function called, there you go. So the explode method, um, Splits and a string by a string. So I specify the separator and the input string and I get an array Let's have a look at the code then. I will do this um, Parts equals what? Uh, the parts will be um, Explode I need to specify the separator, which is this character, followed by the string itself, which is URL. There you go. And now I will just echo 
parts of zero dot br dot parts of one okay let's see if this one works so let's go back here and let's refresh and we have a trip and in the end there is more so far so good everything is working perfectly as expected now this is where the important uh, stuff is going to to be we are going to assume that this part represents uh, like let's say the name of a PHP page okay uh, like for example admin for administrator user for users uh, view for whatever right and this one will have to do with uh, special operations okay or yeah like action for example the administrator could list users and so on so this will be called like the controller okay and this will be called the method and the rest will be parameters okay uh, so I will say um, um, CMS underscore control equals nothing and CMS underscore action equals nothing and CMS parameter one equals nothing and CMS um, parameter two equals nothing let's assume up to three parameters whatever okay parameter three equals nothing and now I will fold them so if uh, count of uh, parts uh, if the count of parts is uh, oops I forget yeah so if the count of, of parts is greater than zero in that case I will say CMS control equals what parts of zero okay I will put a default value here so the default value for the control will be what um, uh, let's call it home okay and the action or let's say what view and the action will be home so the view will be used to view things and yeah okay uh, we will work on this multiple times but for now I just want to um, prepare a few things in here so if the count of parts greater than one instead of control we have action this is gonna be parts of one very nice and if it is two instead of uh, this it will be parameter one it will be parts of two and if it is three it will be of parameters two for whatever reason it will be three and um yeah it might not make sense right now but please bear with me it will be a little bit more obvious in a second yes okay so we have this one so far so good okay okay so now what are we going to do next so we split the link as you can see here and 
what we will be doing next is um, render things okay um, yeah so I will add a folder here I will call it control okay and I will add something here new file I call it view.php okay so this will be um, the default right uh, basically and what are we gonna do here php oops okay so some logic will be executed here right and um, yeah things will be a little bit straightforward hopefully so if control oh sorry CMS action what was the name in the root what did I use control action there you go okay if the control action equals we will do the following here execute the logic of the home page in this case I will just say echo this is the home page there you go and semicolon that's it and let's go to routing now uh, I will just say include dir dot now root file is in here so I need to go up one level for this it will be and then I will access the control folder so this is why it will be control and then I will access the view so basically I will get the view from this one so it will be but the name doesn't have PHP so I will add just PHP there you go so I have this PHP very straightforward okay now uh, let me go and just say here else uh, otherwise some other action echo don't know what to do about the action this is gonna be CMS underscore action yeah something like this it's very straightforward I hope so let me explain what's happening here you are passing the URL this one is going to split it uh, it will get the name of the PHP page to be executed without uh, the name doesn't have PHP in here and the, the default action right and then based on that things will get executed or included okay I hope this uh, explained things well so let's try this out so I will just say uh, trip whatever now you can see here no such file or directory root PHP what did I do something wrong let me have a look trip India generated I oh wait a minute I think I need to do this first enter 
uh, what? Let me check that htaccess file, make sure it works. Uh, CMS slash root. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. CMS root. Okay, so check this out. It didn't find the file aaa.php, so my mistake, I'm very sorry. Kind of working, but not exactly. So let's save this. Now let me show you this. Not the key, enter. Um, this is gonna be uh, a view and enter. Okay, so I entered the word view. Okay, and it doesn't know what to do about the home. Okay, maybe I need to go to this one. Please bear with me. So if it is home, okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, this is the home page. Now let me show you this. If I write this uh, list all pages, don't know what to do about the action list all pages. Okay, so now whatever uh, we are writing here, the corresponding code will be executed. Right? So for now, this will be what? This is for viewing the pages. We will improve this uh, on this later on, but this is the basic stuff that we need right now. Let me show you something else here, right? So in this one, uh, I will add also um, admin.php. There you go. So it will be a very similar code here. And control C here. Okay, so if the action is home, this is home page of the administrator. Of the administrator. Don't know what to do this action for the admin. Okay, so all I have to do now is do this simple trick. If I want to go to the administrator, just try the admin and press enter, and this is the home page of the administrator. Nothing is being rendered so far, but uh, the code, our code, is able now to include the corresponding files and work with them. Uh, this will be improved further later on. We will add functionality that allows us to, um, you know, search and check if the file exists. Well, why don't we do it right now? Um, so in PHP, let's go and search for file exist. There you go. So there is file exist, certainly, and we could use this. So now um, I will say if um, file exist, I'm going to say here file name equals so that I don't have to write it all the time, semicolon. So if file name exists, I will just say include file name. Otherwise, else, I will just include what? I will include something else, the default. Uh, so I will just redirect to the uh, home page or uh, home view. Let me show you this. So it will be control instead of this it is going to be view.php and actually i will redirect to the home page of the user so for this uh, i will just say let me show you um, cms action equals home we save this one now okay uh, seems like um, everything is set so let's go back here this is the home page of the administrator. If I write something wrong, this is the home page. It doesn't accept anything other than, you know, the accurate stuff. So view, ABC, whatever. Actually, I could even make this better. Instead of changing this, I will just say, uh, uh, header, location this is gonna be um, 
you know something like that I hope right uh, I could also fix the code but whatever so here I am going to write whatever um, let me see what was it control oh I forgot this CMS yeah CMS slash uh, wait my mistake my mistake all right yes CMS view so um, let me go back uh, let me write things here and the press enter uh, I think I made an infinite loop somehow right so CMS location oh certainly slash home okay so let me now write things uh, something wrong press enter and it redirects to the accurate page so now even if I enter an invalid link I don't get an error but rather uh, my PHP code will redirect me to the accurate home page okay so I don't na navigate randomly and uh, you know view things that I'm not supposed to uh, uh, I'm still capable of kind of but we will work on that later on but for now uh, if I say for example whatever here okay that's fine if I say admin here I will go to the administration page here we will be adding uh, things regarding login and stuff like that yeah um, I hope this is not too complicated so let's uh, uh, take um, a quick uh, look at what we have done here basically we added a .htaccess file that will redirect all the links into our root page which is root.php which is in here and what this page does it will get the URL and split it based on this this part we will um, we will get uh, a, a default control name and action name and uh, if the parts are there we will fill this one and then we will check if the PHP file to be executed exists if so it will be included otherwise uh, we will just redirect to the home page to view it to the end user and uh, that's it so i i think we are done with routing here so we will just put a star here we we finished routing that is awesome uh so where is um where is the progress yeah this is the progress so 2022 January 08 2022 uh, uh, okay worked on routing uh, of uh, URL uh, of URLs okay and checking uh, if the PHP page exists there you go this is uh, great I think so we finish this one uh, I think I will commit so we will go here and add this one and commit the changes and that's it for today I hope you find this useful see you tomorrow bye bye